430, another violent attack in the subway. This one deadly. Two men got into a fight when one took out a knife and stabbed the other one, police say. It happened at the 241st Street 2 train station in the Wakefield section of the Bronx. News 4's Rana Navidi is there live for us with the hunt for the killer and also Rana, the NYPD's response to this violence. Yeah, and Adam, two senior law enforcement sources tell us that this all started as some sort of an argument in a nearby store as the victim was buying a beer. It's unclear exactly what was said or if the two knew each other, but then the fight escalated as they entered the subway station. The victim was stabbed and didn't survive. The attack happened near the subway turnstiles. Police say the suspect and victim got into a fight on the street near the 241st Street station just after midnight in the Bronx. The argument turned violent on the mezzanine level of the station. The victim stabbed and killed. The attacker now on the run. And I think this is a dangerous, dangerous thing for all of us. Sad. Commuters concerned about violence on the subways, even as stats show most violent crimes are down this year. NYPD data shows the number of murders in the transit system the same as last year. Rapes and robberies are down compared to this time last year, but there have been 100 more reported felony assaults. New Yorkers don't deserve a train ride that includes fear of being a victim of an assault or theft. At an MTA hearing Monday, the NYPD transit chief says bail reform is partly to blame, allowing repeat offenders back on the streets quickly. Crimes against transit workers are also up. Everywhere I go, I see NYPD everywhere, and they seem very relaxed. Some commuters we talk to say they've noticed increased police presence in the subways, but still, they're not putting their guards down. When you're on the train, anything's possible. So make sure you keep your eye open at all times. And police have not yet identified the victim in this stabbing in the Bronx. Uh, the suspect is, is described as wearing an orange and black jacket. No other description. He is still on the run tonight. Reporting live in the Wakefield section of the Bronx, Rana Novini, News 4, New York. Okay, Rana, thank you.